guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another day. Oh, this is part two of the family feud. I hope you enjoy. This is the last part of me ranting about families. And I'll never do that again. But I'm just saying this because uh, it hurts me, and I, I don't know. I don't know how to express it when I'm in person. So this is the best way I can do. I'm not dis like I'm not disrespecting anyone. I'm just saying what I'm just saying what happened to me. So no disrespect to my aunt or anybody, anyone. No, I'm just saying my experiences. And this, uh, this. Uh, these family issues or the feuds uh, made me to realize that you're the only one you, you're the only one who can help yourself or you're the only one like depend on yourself not don't depend on other people they can disappoint you so I reached uh, the, where I said uh, after my I was called by my aunt, he was like, she was like, after I was called by my aunt, I picked the phone, she, uh, without greetings, she just started insulting me. So she talked, she talked, she talked. Then when the, when her call cuts, like uh, because of airtime or something, you don't know, he, uh, she calls my mom. Then she uh, she also insults my mom and, and this by this time she's not calling my dad. You see, my dad is her brother, so my dad has no information. So it's just me and my mom. Then uh, I have like a, I have a, a pro it's not a problem, but when I'm angry, I tend to I, I just keep quiet, but. I just go to the bedroom at night and cry my eyes out. So that time, I, uh, we were the whole family because it was a weekend. So when she was calling, I was with my cousin and his wife. So they they were like also shocked what's happening because I told them, "Hey, auntie is calling." So they were expecting it would be good and uh, like the talking to go away. After that, I cried. I cried. So my cousin told me, don't worry. Don't worry about what she's saying. Because my aunt told me to, uh, to get out of Mombasa. Because who told me to go to Mombasa? Remember, it was not my first time. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, it was not my first time. The first time I went, uh, uh, it was a school trip. So we went uh, in Mombasa for like three days. Three, four days, so it was not my first. I don't, I can't say I knew Mombasa. Yes, I don't know Mombasa by that time, but it was not my first time. So this time I went because uh, of the uh, my cousin told me about the job opportunity, so that's uh, that's what uh, made me go to Mombasa. And my aunt told me, who, who told you to go to Mombasa? Get out tomorrow, get out, get out, go back home. <laughs> Where? Uh, that time I'm in Mombasa, she's telling me to go back home past Eldoret. Hmm. Okay, the problem did not uh, end there. Okay, so she was calling me, she calling my mom, calling me, calling my mom. I didn't say anything to my dad because I didn't want to like her. Uh, you know, when a parent educates you and they don't have, uh, they're not in a position to, like, it's not like they're not in a position to, but you have not gotten a job. They feel for you, but they will not tell you. So it's like, I wish I could do more, but there's nothing I can do. I think that's where the, uh, the position my dad is. So when this opportunity came, because he knew it's from my family member, he just told me, yeah, that's good, just go and try because we've been here and there's no work. <laughs> Little did we know it was going to cause like chaos. I love my aunt. I love my aunt. And it, uh, their relationship, 
my my dad's relationship with his with his sister was destroyed because of that because my dad felt okay you can do anything to me just do anything do anything to me uh, if I and it's also good if you are chasing someone and the person does not know what they have done explain to them you see if I have wronged you just tell me I'm chasing you away or I'm uh, I want you to get out of this house because and then end. But right now, like uh, in my situation, I didn't know what I did wrong. So remember, well, my aunt is not like in Mombasa where she's chasing me away from uh, her son's place. She's far away. Okay, but she's chasing me, and you know, uh, because uh, I don't know if it's traditions, we respect aunts. No, we respect everybody, but now aunts and uncles who take them serious respect. So when uh, she was doing that, she texted. I don't, I don't know if she texted or called my mom and told her. But uh, because of, uh, because we're reaching in Mombasa, I'm going uh, to. The, uh, I last born children at once to a boy and girl. They were still in high school, so she texted. I don't know my mom. Uh, I don't know if she called her. Texted, but she told her, "Because you see, I'm going to take uh, to uh, bring you my, my my two children who are in uh, high school because the school fees is so expensive. I cannot afford it." And I, where? <laughs> Imagine we are talking the same same day. She has reached a point to tell my mom she's bringing her children to our home to do what to be uh, like uh, my mom to pay school fees. Maki, my mom is not working. My mom is not working. My dad is the only one who is working. So when she's saying my mom to take uh, to pay school fees for her children, uh, technically she's saying my dad because she knows my mom is not working. Eh. <laughs> I had uh, been in Mombasa for two weeks, so when when she said that, I I, I, I was like, hmm, have I eaten school fees for two children for two weeks? Remember the same not the same year, but uh, because I went in Mombasa in January, so uh, the uh, previous year in November, my my uh, my sister, last born sister, uh, okay, I don't know how to put it. Because they they are the same age with the twins, for my, uh, my aunt's children. So she had told my aunt, hey, one day when you come, just come with me. Uh, the, the girl, the twin girl, because they are the same age. That was like, I think, one and a half years ago. So the, that previous year, uh, she did not tell us she's bringing the, the girl, my cousin now. Uh, my sister was like they were had gone to the market and then they like they met there they even didn't know and my aunt just gives my like tells uh, my cousin to, to come with us well like not us my sister because my sister was the one who was uh, at the market at the center we we stayed with my cousin for two months remember this is a request my sister, my last born sister, met my aunt like one and a half years ago. And then my aunt is bringing my cousin without telling my mom, my, my mom or my dad. Okay? You see? We, we stayed with my cousin for two months. No, nothing like this. Uh, okay. I say, but, uh, okay. We stayed with her for two months. Then when she was going back uh, i think uh, uh, december 31st we did like a uh, shoot and uh, not shoot like uh, yeah but not, okay. she left at that first we stayed for two months then she left on december 31st then that in january the following january that's when i was going to Mombasa. Uh, imagine i just went to Mombasa for two weeks then my aunt was back. and i had my money i had my money so like I was going to eat their school feast and even my cousin if uh, okay I understand my cousin was supporting the, uh, 
my cousin was putting his uh, siblings in school. But when it reaches a point, your cousin invites you, he knows I'm not going to like uh, disrupt their budget or anything because I was not like going to stay like her. I was going to, uh, to look for work and I had an also my own money. But now it paid my hand when I went to Mombasa for only two weeks. It was an extent. She tells my mom she's bringing my two cousins for them to be <laughs> school fees to be paid from our home. Hmm. I cried. I asked myself, what did I do to my aunt to deserve this? And remember, I said in, in part one, she had also told me that she has people in America. She will connect with me. Okay. <laughs> the only mistake I did was do it to my cousin. Just uh, let me speak in a Swahili. At time of if she has the, uh, a heart to connect me with people in USA, she has a heart. I don't know how to put it, but it pained her. I went to her son. So what I did, because I, uh, as I said earlier, I don't like dramas, but it hurt me to the ex. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. I just told my cousin, it's okay. I don't want you. Also, my cousin was calling her mom, uh, his mom, uh, asking him, what's going on? The one who called her here, what's happening? I, I called her here to come and look for work. So, what's wrong with that? Hey, so I, I told my cousin, you know what? It's okay, I'll go back home. My cousin was like, no, don't, uh, don't go home. You have not found any job. Just uh, continue, uh, like, Placing your applications, that when you get a job, it will be okay. I told her, I told my uh, my cousin, no, home. I'm going home. I went home. No, before I go, I went home. I was not at peace because after she texted my mom about uh, bringing uh, my cousins, two cousins, to be paid for this from our home. I I know <laughs> that was extreme, but. I sat and asked, am I that greedy or am I, I don't know how my aunt took it, I don't know how she took, she took it, uh, school fees for two kids in two weeks. The only thing my, my cousin is providing for me of course is food and that place to sleep. When going for the uh, applications I was using my own phone, I, I was not asking for money from them. So my, my my cousin tried to convince me to uh, to just let things go and assume what my aunt would say. And I told him, no, I don't want to start to be disrespectful to her. Let me just go home. My he tried, he tried to convince me, and I said, no, for my peace of mind, the peace of mind to my mom, let me just go home. I prepared myself. Uh, I think after two days. Fact and everything I went with, I said, Mombasa, no for me, no, sir. <laughs> then I packed and went back home. I went back home and I said, I'll never, never talk to my aunt. You know, after the same day, after she called me, of course, after I cried my ass out, my ass out, of course, my mom told my dad it hurt my dad. I think it it hurt my dad more because it uh, it was uh, his sister, but it hurt me more because I remember the time. Okay, I'm not bragging, but uh, my dad used to help her a lot. My cousins used to come home, my, uh, and we we are just close. My, my okay, I don't want to put more information here, but my dad helped my and when she was at the lowest and that one i know so this time even i did not go to my aunt i went to my cousins but it, it, it brought so much pain more heart and everything i said i'll never i'll never speak to her hey mama so it came uh, it has been a long time uh, i'm not spoken to her for so many so last year i went home 
and then she was uh, she, let me just say the truth <laughs> she was around but when I was like we were in the house then I heard them coming because they were used to come with the liquor they were coming with my grandma I vanish they will not see me they will not hear my voice they know I'm at home they will not see me I'll come back with them that's how I I don't I don't to use the word hate but I didn't feel comfortable again around her I didn't want to see her I, I, I remember um, when uh, like when they were coming I used to remember how she treated me when I was at her son's place I didn't want to see her that's why I say you know, as much as much as you are a receiver be a giver so that when it's your turn to give you won't feel that uh, like you are being you feel bad helping another person and you know it's not even directly that's the worst part it's not directly helping them directly <laughs> so okay that's it so i came to realize okay i have much respect for my cousin for that opportunity he gave me to go to Mombasa and look for work <coughs> sorry and look for work from there but it didn't go as planned because of that but I'm really really appreciative because he took a chance yeah if it were not for the, the family field I could have gotten a job because it was easy there and he was a hundred percent sure I would get a job so I thank you so much well, um, I know you will not watch this but whenever you see this video in the near future or whenever you come across this video just know I'm very appreciative you took a chance on me but then this deal did not go as planned but I'm thankful so try try so hard to help people as much as you can okay this um, uh, like the, the, the experience taught me something don't depend on anybody. I said your family, uh, your parents are the one, only ones who will feel your pain. And that's correct. So if you want to help a person, you have a good heart, you want to help a person, help them all heartedly. Don't expect anything. If it's a family member you want to help, help them. Don't expect anything. You know, I did not expect anything from my family members. Uh, as I said earlier, I just said that uh, when you have a, or you have troubles, family members are, as expected, are, su are supposed to be there and the first one to respond, you know. That's how it is. Not like uh, I give you money, you don't give me money, you know. But they will support you or, watch, or uh, whichever way. But don't, I'm um, coming to be supportive, don't expect anything from anyone. Try as much as possible to help people because it will, uh, it say, it say that what goes around comes around. So as much as you, like many people, um, as you help people, God will bless you. So just help people expecting God to bless you because uh, God will use strangers. Yeah, God will use strangers, not necessarily family members, to bless you if you uh, give, uh, like you give with your heart okay life is too short life is too short as much as you help people sometimes be selfish make yourself happy put yourself first yeah because sometimes when we help people we forget ourselves then when we hit rock bottom no one comes to like to pull us up so my advice to you help people as much as you can never expect anything from anyone god will bless you and um, as you help people don't forget yourself put yourself also first if you have something to give give but if also remember your life is too short have fun be happy okay don't hold grudges like right now i don't have any grudges with anyone I just uh, did this video because I felt I have to say it out so that I can feel the lead. I don't have any grudge to anyone I'm not building any grudges but 
the best thing for me and for my peace of mind is to love my family members from afar. Not, no, I love them, but we will live in peace. Because when you break, and I also say, I'm afraid of uh, bringing people to, too close. That's what, uh, one of the reasons why. Because when I, like, I check people, uh, I said I don't have a lot of friends because I fear that closeness because they leave and they, so I prefer being myself and that uh, experience taught me to depend on myself and to depend on God. First, I depend on God, then I depend on myself. I know sometimes we cannot, uh, like, um, I cannot depend on myself fully. I need some assistance, but when that time comes, when that time comes, I know how good uh, God will know how to help me. But I help, uh, not like the experience, the experience I uh, I went through changed my heart. No, I help people, but I say let me help strangers. God will bless me from there. And I pray for my family members to always be in good health, to be in good, uh, to have like would be in a good relationship, nobody to have any troubles and live this way. When you have troubles in the family, I'll help. I, I'm not saying because I went through the same thing, I'll do the, that to another person. No, I'll help. But for my peace of mind, I love my peace. And I finished. Thank you so, so much for watching up to this point. I love you all. Thank you for your support. We are growing and guys help me to reach a hundred subscribers. We are like 20 subscribers. Uh, we are 20 subscribers short. Kindly consider subscribing and if you have gone through the same thing, kindly uh, comment down below on how you dealt with it. Thank you. Till next time. Bye bye.